Okay, we're going to show you here how to install the Android toolchain, get a working Android development environment. We're starting with a fresh Windows 7 professional image here. The first thing we need to do is go to the Android developer website, um, which you see here on the screen. So I'm going to go to the uh, download area here. And the first step is going to be install, to install the SDK starter package. So on Windows, um, they actually have a nice installer for us. So we're going to click on that and download it. I'm just going to run it here. And once it downloads here, I'm going to run and step through the installation wizard and you'll notice that the installer figured out I don't have the um, JDK installed here, the Java, Java Developer's Toolkit. So I'm going to jump over to Oracle and download that one. I'm going to get the latest, greatest version and now we're going to install that. Okay, my installer's running for the JDK here. And I'm just going to click through the wizard and take all the defaults. Okay, now that it's finished, I'm going to go back to my installer for the uh, Android SDK, and I'm just going to back up here and then go back forward again so it recognizes the fact that I've got the uh, JDK, and then I'll just click through the rest. And at this point, I now have my SDK starter package installed. So now let's go back to the Android developer website and kind of follow along the install guide there. And the next step is going to be to get a copy, of the latest copy of the Eclipse IDE. So I'm just going to follow the link to the Eclipse download right here from the Android site. and save this on my desk and then run it once it's downloaded. There's no installer here, it's just gonna be unpacked into a uh, directory on my disk. All right, now I'm going to open up the archive. And I'm going to make myself a shortcut on my desktop so it's easy to run. Okay, now that Eclipse is installed, let's go ahead and run it. And you'll notice I'm running it as administrator. Um, your mileage may vary, but I had difficulties um, when I didn't run it as administrator. So first time we run Eclipse, it's going to want to set up its default workspace. And I like to put this in a directory without any spaces or funky names like that. the default. We'll go over to the workbench. Alright, so now what we need to do is install the ADT plugin for Eclipse. So we're going to go to the help menu and install new software. 
and we need to get the URL for this plugin and you'll find that under the installing ADT plugin documentation on the Android developer site. So we're going to paste that URL right in here and then just give it any old name. And now Eclipse is going to go out and find the uh, plugin for us and we'll proceed to install it here. And we're just going to click through all these default options. Just click through. Okay, and we're going to restart Eclipse just to make sure it's happy. All right, now we want to go to Preferences and make sure um, we specify to Eclipse where we've installed our um, Android SDK, and we've put this in the standard place where the installer puts it, so Program Files, Android, Android SDK. And now we're basically you know, telling Eclipse where the SDK is located. And now we're going to go to Windows and then run the... Um, Android SDK and AVD Manager. And what we want to do now is pick up the various uh, platform level SDKs. And we're going to pick up pretty much all of them. We're going to get both the Android SDK as well as all the um, Google specific APIs. Okay, we're now all set. We have a functioning Android development environment. Thank you for watching.